Hi friends, I hope you're all doing fine, putting a lot of efforts to help you all in the last 90 days to create greater impact. I am back again with another interesting video. I hope you've seen all the last few videos, especially the base system video, because today's session is going to be solving a few questions on base system. These questions will be from Cat and Zat from the previous years. So let's begin. I hope you're all enjoying learning. Let me know your feedbacks in the chat as well. So let's begin solving the top three questions from base system. Let's begin with the first one. How many four digit numbers in base nine are perfect square in decimal system? So four digit number, what's the first four digit number? One zero zero zero. And what's the last four digit number in base nine? That will be eight, 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 eight. Remember in base nine, you will have digits from zero to eight. So now what is this number in decimal system? If you think about it, base nine, this is nine to the power zero, nine to the power one, nine to the power two, nine to the power three. So this is one into nine to the power three, zero into nine square, zero into nine to the power one, zero into nine to the power zero. This becomes 729. Similarly, this will also be nine to the power zero, nine to the power one, nine to the power two, nine to the power three. So just multiply this becomes eight into nine cube plus nine square plus nine to the power one plus nine to the power zero. This is nothing but a GP nine to the power four minus one upon nine minus one. So that gets cancelled. So nine to the power four minus one. What is nine to the power four? 81 into 81. That is six, five, six, one minus one, six, five, six, zero from 729 to 6560. 729 is 27 square. 6560 is one less than 81 square. So how many squares will be there till 80 square? So 27 to 80. How many numbers? 80 minus 27 plus one. Why do we do plus one here? Because we are to count 27 also, right? So how many numbers? 54 numbers. So I hope this is clear to you. Moving forward, next question. Let A, B, C be distinct digits. Consider a two digit number AB and a three digit number CCB, both defined under the usual decimal number system. If AB square is CCB greater than 300. Now AB square is CCB. Remember the value of B here should be such that the square also has the same unit digit. So B can be one, you know, digits like one or five or six or zero, right? It should be greater than 300. Think about a few squares just for the sake of example. What is three greater than 300? The first number can be 18 square. That is 324. And because the square is in three digits, it can't go beyond 31. 31 square is 961. From 32 square, it gets to four digits going on till 99 square, which is 9801. 19 square is 361. Then you have 20 square, which is 400. 21 square is 441. So here is the, your answer. This number is matching. Then A is equal to 2, B is equal to 1 and C is equal to 4. Every condition is satisfied. I hope this is clear to you. So answer to this question, what's the value of B? Value of B is 1. In a number system, product of 44 and 11 is 1034. So we've seen in the last part, I hope you've seen how to perform product. So 44 into 11 is 1034 in some base system. I don't know what is the base system here. Then I have to find out what base and then convert this number into decimal. Let's see. 1 into 4 is 4. The last digit here also is 4. Then 1 into 4 is 4. Then 1 into 4 is 4. And 1 into 4 is again 4. 4 is the last digit as we have seen it here. 4 plus 4 is 8. But I am getting 3 here. So what can be the base here? So I can write eight as five into one plus three, right? So then in that case, I'll have a three here and one will be carried forward. So it will car carry here. So one plus four is equal to five. Now my hypothesis is that five is the base, in which case five should give me a zero and a carry of one. So one, zero, three, four. So hypothesis is absolutely correct. The base is five. Now, all I have to do is convert this number in five base. So three, one, one, one. So five cube, five square, five to the power one, five to the power zero. One into five to the power zero is one. One into five, 25. And three into 125 is 375. So what's the answer? 400, 405 and 406. I hope this is clear to you. Finally, this is the question for all of you. Try solving it. Let me know your answers in the chat. Keep learning. God bless you all. Bye-bye.